I'm making a video to discuss, uh, maybe it's a science fiction thought experiment. Uh, I, I don't know if anybody will try this, uh, but uh, it's, more, it's more of a thought experiment than anything. And it comes from the idea that when I was a kid, uh, when I was learning about uh, money and uh, the math behind money, uh, we learn how compound interest can make a, a small amount of money grow into a fortune if given enough time. And so this is why I encourage you know, people to stay healthy because then your money has more time to grow. But um, when I was a few years ago when I um, started writing computer games professionally, I uh, remember thinking that if only I slept a little bit less because of, you know, I would have a full-time job and then I would cram these computer games and then I would have no time to socialize. It became a little bit of a curse because the reason I was trying to write professional computer games was to make new connections, but then I had no time to socialize. So it became a little bit of a curse. And I remember thinking if I was sleeping eight hours a night, if I reduced it by just five minutes, you know, every even if it's every week I reduce it by five minutes, I would hardly notice it, but over time it would add up and potentially oh, I could reduce it down to four hours or two hours. And uh, Unfortunately, uh, I, I did try to uh, attempt this at one point. It didn't turn out because just minor fluctuations, because it was only a five minute reduction, you have to be precise, like in military precise. Even minor fluctuations will ruin the idea of, of a gradual reduction, so it didn't work out. The other way I have tried to do this in the past was um, in terms of a diet. I used to think that, uh, you know, when I was a kid I was envious of people who could eat endless amounts of food without getting fat. I used to be obese, it's hard to tell. But I'd, I'd get envious about those people and I thought that if you gradually increased your caloric intake, maybe your body could acclimate to it and, and burn it all off. So if you were eating 2,000 calories a day, and over a few weeks, you, you increased it to 2,001, 2,002 calories, and then so on and so forth. Um, and, then, and then you slowly increased it to 3,000 calories. Well, maybe not. You have to do like a calorie a day because then from 2,000, 3,000, you could do that in a few years. That might be doable. I thought if you did that, your body would acclimate to burning a few more calories every day somehow. And you may, maybe you wouldn't get fat. And eventually you could eat 3,000 calories a day regularly. And uh, it didn't turn out. I remember trying this as well when I was very young, when I was, I think, 13 or 14. Uh, it didn't turn out because, again, you had to be very precise. If you went to a party or you um, got sick and you couldn't eat that day, your fluctuations were a lot more than what you were trying to increase your caloric intake by. So it didn't turn out. Okay, the other way I want to try this, and this one I actually hope to accomplish, but, again, it, 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 these are always very challenging, is that... I currently more or less go to sleep once every 24 hours, right? I talked about videos where I wanted to, to change that, but for the most part, 24, maybe a little bit more. I'm thinking it would be really nice to have a cycle where we sleep once every 48 hours. The reason for that is my line of work requires a lot of train of thought. And if I could, if I could do it 20 hours continuously as opposed to breaking it up, Oh, it, 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 I, I would probably be a lot more productive. And plus, if I could sleep in one large chunk, oh, there would be a lot less waste. I mean, there's always a little bit of tossing and turning. As much as I hate to admit it, I toss and turn a little bit. You know, there's always a few times where I have to hit the snooze button a few times in the morning. And, you know, just to, to, to consolidate two nights of sleep into one would, 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 would eliminate a lot of waste. I don't know if waste is the right word to use for that. Well, I would also save on a lot of things that have to be done daily, like commuting or, or anything that has to be done on a daily basis. Um, the other uh, reason for that is that I sometimes like to view the night sky. And if I, would, if I had a two-day cycle like that, I would have a little bit of daylight and a little bit of nighttime every day. Uh, or every cycle, I should say now, because now I'm talking about my two-day cycle. 
Um, and I think I, 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 I haven't attempted this yet because my, my work commitments don't allow for it yet. But I, I wonder, let's say you're sleeping every 24 hours now and you increase it to 25 hours. Well, I have done 25-hour cycles before because I like to view outer space, especially the moon. And the moon follows a 24-hour, 50-minute cycle. So I have done that before. So I know that's doable in the short term for a month. Oh, it's doable. Oh, I did a full month one time. Um, and, um, okay, so let's say you do that for a month and you acclimate to that. Somehow you find a job that's flexible so that you don't have to worry about that. And you acclimate to 2450. And, and then maybe you acclimate to it for a few months. And then you increase it by another 50 minutes until you're up to 48. What would be really, really nice if I could pull it off is if I could sleep once a year and just sleep through the winter. Because I, I get serious wintertime depression. A year's really pushing it. You'd have to acclimate to it for a long time and probably take you your whole lifetime and you probably wouldn't even reach a year. So 48 hours is a compromise. At least I get to see the night sky, enjoy some sunlight as well, and um, reduce some of the expenses that go with starting a new day. Um, and I really think you could slowly acclimate to something. The problem is that the fluctuations will, will destroy any concept of slowly. So I wonder, oh, I don't know, oh, I know it's kind of science fiction, but if anybody has tried anything like that, be curious to hear about it. Thanks for watching.